Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round one game in Group K between Aresius and his lovely blue and white orcs up against Petey Poos with his default coloured undead. Uh, let me look up on here how these guys qualified for you. Petey Poos is the, from the UK and qualified through THBBL Season 1. And Aresius is... Canadian and qualified through the BBQ World Championship qualifier. So there you go. I mean, you could actually could have guessed they've both paid tribute to their qualifiers with their team names, BBQ All Stars. He's got two, only two guards and two block biggins, a tackler and a mighty blow. And uh, we don't have the leader thrower. He doesn't have a well. He does have a thrower. He's got a goblin. So he's managed. To, oh, he hasn't got the apple. He hasn't. So he's lost the apple. So he's got three rerolls. He's lost the apple. Um, and look, this is nice, isn't it? Look at that. That's great. We've seen other people that that dropped the um, dropped the reroll to keep the apple, and then got leader on the thrower. So he's a little bit brittle. Only twelve players, one of which is a goblin, and he's taken the goblin to have the throw teammate chance, which is. Completely reasonable. Uh, Petey Poo's won the toss and chose to receive. He's got a couple of guard whites. I quite like that. And then he's got a couple of block ghouls, a wrestle ghoul, and a show hands ghoul. So, follow, got, got to the Dimmy G school of skilling the ghouls. Which, you know, it's going to hurt him a bit in this matchup, right? In this matchup, you'd rather have guard on the mummies um, so that you can fight the orcs better but having a couple of guard is still good like I, I i really don't i'm really not a fan of tackle um in this format so I quite like that he's at least oh he's at least got the guard there well it was a good re it was a good reroll gets the removal that is absolutely huge isn't it that is a big boost to his offensive drive oh i hate this I hate this. They were in such a good spot. Like they were holding the space in front of him. And instead invited disaster. If he failed that pickup, he just gets blitzed and loses it. Nah, absolutely should have just gone for the pickup first before moving them. These two guys should have definitely... Um... Yeah, that was... An instant, you know, bit of pressure, isn't it? This was also really late for Petey Poos. He was playing at midnight. Um, a lot a lot more comfortable time for his Canadian opponent. So, you know, you'd maybe use, you know, being at work all day and uh, a bit tired and just did that. So, who knows? There we go, yeah, THBBL Titans, there you go, that's his team name. So, Blockless Blitz, again with the ball exposed. <laughs> you know, if that's a... It, okay, he would have re-rolled it, but again, if it's a if it's a 1 in 81, it's disastrous, right? So, could have just showed up the ball, moved the ball first, maybe. Rearranged the cage a little bit to cover the failure. I like pushing him into the Mighty Blow. Like, you want to hit as much as possible with the mummies. You absolutely want to be hitting as much as possible with Mighty Blow. But um, definitely could have secured the ball first. Mr. Throw looks great. I can't believe how good Mr. Throw looks with the customizations. I might have to buy these customizations for my Mr. Throw. Oh, he has a skeleton? Oh, no. Oh, I, I don't like this guy. He's fielding it as well. He's got, got zombies. He could have just been fielding a zombie. Oh, I do not like. Do not like the Skellington line. Yeah, this was the problem with base, leaving the mummy based. But with him not getting knocked over, he does get to smash back now with Mighty Blow. Running all the way around. I 
really don't like this. I, I, I'll tell you why I don't like this. I'll tell you why I don't like this. His mummies are here and here. And what you want is, you want your mummy smashing things and being the driving force of your line. And by moving away from your mummies, you're letting people either bang them out or leave them stranded on linemen, neither of which are good, right? You, you need to be keeping the mummies at the absolute forefront of everything you're doing and want at least you know he might be blitzing with this one and following up or whatever but he's at least leaving one isolated um also this is very much leaving on for this guy to one d your ball yeah double rush to one d the ball Oof. So that saves, that stops that a bit. Oh, there we go, one in nine. And now he's using a team reroll, you know, on this that's not really going to do anything. I mean, he might have cast him, but, you know, like, it's a, it's in an irrelevant part of the pitch as well, isn't it? So he's been unlucky rolling two one in nines already, of course, in two turns, but three turns, but still. Wait, this guy's standing? Oh god, this guy was standing. It still couldn't get a hit on the ball. Oh, cast him. And yeah, look, look at this guy, completely isolated. Miles from anywhere. Poor mummy. He's out on Revis Island, if anyone remembers that from the NFL. There you go. Oh, fun in nine. He has to reroll that because he has to get the pow. And now he's out of rerolls on turn four of his offensive drive. And he's got a uh, he's got a mummy ice completely isolated. Wow, I mean, he's had some rough dice. He's definitely had some rough dice. There's no doubt about that. At some point, you've got to make the decision to, like, how do I get out of this half at, you know, at nil-nil, right? Like, this this drive is almost a right Glorious. at this point. Like, no, it's not I because also slow. In. Not I as slow as they like used to be. And I, will I should line that up so it's where I the world thing is, shouldn't I? Glorious, thank you very much. BB Nut, staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Um, uh, let's not say terrible, let's not be mean. Let's not be mean, J5. Um, but... We can say questionable, things like that. Terrible's a bit harsh, right? Terrible is a bit harsh. But I would say a bit too kind of like carefree, right? Not thinking about like, you know, failure states as much as I would like to. Now, what this means is if you don't get those failure states, then you get some payoff, right? Because you haven't paid them the heed, so you're getting something out of it. You're getting something out of things if you kind of ignore failure states. It lets you take more aggressive lines and, uh, you know, get bigger payoff. I mean, he's just trying to desperately keep the ball safe, I think, is the uh, is why he's doing these things here. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> that 
was a gaping hole, was there? Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Because even though I'm on a tight schedule here, in terms of getting things done. Oh, yeah, blitz this guy. Oh, this is incredible because you get to sit the mummy on the, uh, on the tackler as well, don't you? So, yeah, my play would have been mummy blitz. And if it's a pow, then you stand on him, which is great. Oh, no, you can't actually stand on him. You actually can't stand him. You've got to go in there, right? Because... No, you'd, and then you've got to knock this guy down as well. Ah, uh, it's not as good as I thought. It's not as good as I thought. So you're probably going to have to... Honestly, maybe start the turn with a dodge. You maybe start this turn with a dodge. Except you haven't got a reroll. Hmm. So in that case, you put the ghoul in here, 2D him. It's, tr it's tricky. Maybe the ghoul blitzes. And then assists here. And then you 1D this guy and then come up there and then 2D him and then that lets you get through. It's hard. I, I, don't, I don't like this at all, actually. Because mm. the fact you've got to deal with this guy as well, and that's probably got to be a 1D, right? You've probably got to honestly dodge with this guy, 1D him, uh, 2D him, and then 1D this one. Maybe that's the best play, right? Then if you push, you push to there. And if you push, you push to there. And then whatever happens, you've got to root through. So that's probably the best play. Is start off with a dodge. Bl blitz him to 2D with block. And then 1D here with block. And then hope for pushes on both of them. And then this guy comes through um, to tag him. And then this one comes through and this comes through. And, and then this guy dodges at the end. So, the other, the, other, the other thing, which is also really tempting, is just to turtle and try and get out of it at nil-nil. So I, I don't hate the turtling trying to get out at nil-nil. I would probably turtle and try and get out at nil-nil with my rerolls gone. So, um, yeah. Right, anyway, let's go to the... I can play it again. Play it again, because uh, <laughs> it's too... I tried to skip ahead, but didn't. Yeah, so I, I probably wouldn't have done it this way. But I think there's something to be said for um, for just trying to consolidate. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I would have followed with a mummy, right? I would have followed with a mummy and had a full cage. Yeah, I would have definitely followed with a mummy and had the uh, the white up here. For sure. You think trying to stabilize is suicide? I don't know, man. Orcs are pretty slow. And like, if they come at you, maybe they can lead a, leave a better breakaway option on than they have, you had that turn. Ideally, I'd want the ghouls at the back of the cage so that I could hand off and, you know, get slip away. Potentially. Why is blitzing the zombie there? To get his other guy in. I mean, like, it's a good result, right? He gets the he gets the stun and it gets him an extra player in, but I really thought he'd have tried to just, you know, punch somebody that was there. And I mean, as it happens, he has got a much better breakaway turn this turn. So there you go. Now you've got a 2D, which completely gets you through. So, I mean, what? that's funny, isn't it? The people saying they would have broken through last turn. <laughs> this consolidating turn has led to has led to a 3, 4 square pushing him, 5, 6. So you get to tack the tackle, and you get to push him away. And then you get two players up. You get the ball up. You get the blitzer up. And you can get to make two dodges to get everything through. So, um, 
There we go. But <laughs> he's not going that way. <laughs> but that's where I would have gone. He's gone the other way. I mean, now at least he's got like both both mummies involved again, kind of. Wow! Multiple dodges and rushes. <laughs> he's he's living a dangerous life here out of rerolls. Yeah, you know, again, like, this is midnight for him. So, that the, the scheduling is, a, is an interesting part of the whole situation, isn't it? Because, you know, finding those times you can play your opponent with the time zone differences and, you know, maybe not as, maybe not at his best, plus the uh, chalice nerves, etc. Playoff nerves. Problem now is even if you get away, like through this gate dodge, now he's got the tackle back to stop you. But the thing is, you probably escaped. You've probably escaped. Um, you probably escaped the turnover score, right? You probably escaped the turnover score at least. Man, look at the dice on this guy. This is incredible. The problem is, yeah, by by him being there, he didn't he didn't stop the extra dodge, and then uh, he failed it. The orcs are going straight for the counter score, which I I like. I, you know, he could have he could have just blitzed this guy, and uh, you know, try to defend. But I think it's better to go for the counter score yourself here. Absolutely. <laughs> it's your only hope. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, and he tags him as well. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I guess he. I guess it cost him a bit to dodge this. I think I would have tried to dodge this guy and get a secondary scoring threat with such three plus. Um, but the next dice were dub skulls, so there you go. That would have been a disaster. Just needs to push, and then we've got the handoff here, right? One, two, three. Oh no, these are here. So he's got to make this block. And he doesn't have anyone who can blitz, so he's going to have to do a dodge. One, two, three, four. In that case, he doesn't even need to make this hit, does he, actually? Oh, wait, has he got a blitz? He's got a blitz. So he can... He, can... Oh, he hasn't got guard. Mr. Throws on the deck here. So maybe maybe this guy runs around and blitzes this one, and then this guy blocks him, and then Mr. Throw um, comes through, rushes and passes. I think it's surely better for this guy just to do the handoff, right? The handoff has to be better from the blitzer, doesn't it? But he's probably going to have to dodge and uh, and then make the handoff and double rush as well. <laughs> yeah, I did manage to spot the two massive mummies, yeah. <laughs> That block doesn't matter much because he can't clear this this tackle zone either. Like obviously still making it right, it's a mighty blow hit, even though it's only in a zombie. Here we go, makes the pick up. Jumps instead of dodge, same difference. Looks better. Oh fails that. Fails the catch. Diced. 
<laughs> yeah, Red told me mummy. Yeah, jump for style is fair, isn't it? Okay, the quick snap. Gets the free grab with the... Uh, Oh, the troll stays out. Gets the free catch chance with a goblin. Goblin really has to go up two above Paul here, right? Oh, instant cast. This should just be two above. One above gives you worse scatter outs if you fail the pickup. And further up, you know, it's just further up. <laughs> it's just better. You want to be closer to the end zone, you know, than further away. A block blitz on a mummy. It's very desirable. Ooh, wow, okay. Again, these guys should have moved after the pickup, right? So they were like holding a wider line before the pickup and then could have moved afterwards. But that could have been very enticing for the uh, undead to do pressure if you feel the pickup. And he gets to 2D the. Uh Big him with block as well, doesn't he? So that was a wait, no. Um, he definitely could have just assisted, right? He definitely could have just put a player here and assisted. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we're going quite wide now as the orcs. I say quite wide, it's it's wide for orcs, right? It's obviously not quite wide. But for oh my god, another cast. Looking grim for the uh undead now. Lovely block and chain out. Always oh, going to three dice blitz. Love to see it. He's in, he's in the World Championship. Definitely not terrible. Definitely not terrible. But maybe nerves and tiredness are playing a part in... Uh... Um, I think Petey Poos is a, is, a, is, a, is a PlayStation qualifier. The Undead, I think, is... <laughs> I think the undead coach qualified through PlayStation, I think. Um, and it's the Orcs that are Canadian. BBQ, yeah, yeah, Blood Bowl, Quebec. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That makes more sense than him qualifying through, like, you know, a barbecue league that happens to be based in Canada. Gets the tackle knockdown. I mean, that's what I thought of instantly when I said... I just thought it was Barbecue All-Stars. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Tell you what, look how good Mr. Throw looks. He looks incredible. I actually love the customization for Mr. Throw. I'm not even lying. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it was hard to qualify. It was. It was hard to qualify. Uh, you know, saying, saying terrible is, is unfair. I've played in these games. It is, it is very, it is nerve wracking. You know, you may mock saying it's a little children's game, which it is. <laughs> but, you know, at midnight after a hard day's work, you know, he's struggling to uh, play his best in a very high pressure environment. It's fair enough, isn't it? And he's still all right. It's still nil nil, right? He hasn't lost. He has taken the two the two banged out zombies aren't helping. But um, you know, this is a choice here to go where the mummy is. I would have definitely gone where the mummy isn't, or you know, try to try to hit the mummy is the other alternative, isn't it? You either go where the mummy isn't, or you knock down the mummy. Um, are your are your two best options? Oof. Oh, rubbish block dice there. Also, he has not had good dice. To be fair, PD poos. Apart from the instantly removing a troll that didn't wake up, that was pretty good. <laughs> Those dice were pretty good, but you need more than one good dice roll again, to be fair. Well, that's nice, get removing the goblin. Oh, puts in the reroll for the white dodge. This isn't easy for the orcs now. He doesn't actually. Oh, I guess if he if he can power this ghoul, he can blitz the um, mummy. But he doesn't. He blitzes this guy, which means he doesn't have to do the blockless block first. But it does mean he's based by the mummy, so... Mm. Oh, he got the power as well. Yeah, I like, I like going for the blockless block first. And then if you get the power, the mighty blow guy can blitz the mummy. But, um... The play here... He's already... Hasn't done it. <laughs> but the play here was definitely to blitz this guy, right? And chain the mummy in. That was absolutely a million percent the play. Ghoul to here, um, dodge a ghoul or, or one dice this guy. Yeah, probably one dice this guy, probably. And then assist here and then blitz him and chain the mummy in so you've got the mummy hit on the ball. Really like that. I guess you can still do it the other the other way now, right? You could, you could put this guy in there and then blitz that way and stuff. Oh, please don't troll Ori. And, I mean, J5 is J5, but don't join in with him, please. Okay? Please. I'm definitely not saying... You know I'm not saying that. Don't be a dirtbag. Does the 1D to face the ball? Oh, oh dub skulls! Okay, he gets the power. Oh, 
Ooh, I think I think I prefer blocking with the back one, right? If you block with the back one, then you can chain things away, or you could chain him forward and stuff. And then you're also like closer for here. Uh, okay, he's got to stop that play. This is pretty good now. He's well away from this mummy. It's not an ideal trade-off, obviously, a guard big one. Like, you know, ideally, you'd want your rookie lineman on him. But at least, you know, trading one for one is still kind of fine, right, with a mummy. Um, and you can't really get him into the ball area. Just throwing ghouls at the problem. Which is something Undead can do, isn't it? And they, you know, especially when you spend your skills on blodging the ghouls. And there we go, what a Kaz. Dodge away from the tackler. So that does free the tackler to come in and do stuff, but then it puts another blodger in the way of the ball. Oh, dub skulls! Two dub skulls. So, you know, first half, Peaky Poo's had a couple of rough one in, uh, one in nines, and now this half, Aresius has had them. Might just go for the score. He can't actually just get the score in, can he? Because he can't clear both with that blitz. Is he going to block with the uh, Mr. Throw or is he going to dodge with him? Probably has to. He has to block with him, right? Another removal. He's removed so many zombies, this. Oh, wow, he went for the dodge. He went for the dodge. Now the undead get to surf this big one. They haven't got, they can't get a scoring threat though, I don't think, realistically. Mm -mm. Maybe they could have blitzed this tackler and then got run this guy up, but I don't. No, he just couldn't get anything in range, could he? Absolutely not. They just try and defend the ball as much as possible. Oh, what a rough scatter. Maybe he should have blitzed from an angle where he wouldn't have scattered it if that was possible. And, okay. <laughs> Thought this was a screen, but this is an orc. <laughs> He's got a little. He's got a nice little. He's got a nice little screen here. <laughs> but actually, no, no. It was an instant surf. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> but this is very dangerous, right? The ball going in the crowd could go anywhere. And it has. And there is no way that Biggins can't pass. I just learned the other day, Biggins can't pass. So, um, that is a nil-nil thriller. There you go. Wow, I banged out so many of the, uh, of the undead and just, you know, the Hail Mary. Base the ball worked. He could have just blitzed them both, but instead went for the dodge. Failed the dodge. And, uh, disaster. Ensued. Very fun game, yeah. Very fun game. I mean, to be fair, like, touchdowns, you know, don't necessarily make for fun, right? Because at the end of the day, a complete comedy mega dicing where someone gets steamrolled, like, that's going to be a certain proportion of touchdowns, right? Whereas a not scoring implies something interesting's happened, right? Kind of. Probably nil nils are probably more interesting on average than one ones, aren't they? Um, so there you go, a nil nil. Um, yeah, thanks, David. Frank. Yeah, a, a good game, a good game, and thanks to both of them for putting that on for us. And you know, congratulations to both for qualifying. And uh, please don't take any offence at the words of J Five and all of because at the end of the day, they're not in the World Cup, are they? Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.